and we were able to go out there tonight, execute. Um, you know, we still got some things holding us back, so once we get those figured out, I believe we can be more calm, but just really happy as an offense for 500 yards. What do you think works? Yeah, I think running the ball um, it really, really worked. Uh, that that, that old line up front, you know, they were doing their job, the holes were there. Uh, very visible from, from my eyes, and all, you know, all I can ask for is a one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, if, if they can do that, then, then they've done their job, and I've got to do mine now. Um, so I, I think running the football worked really well tonight. DJ was slinging that thing, and they started trying to stop the run. Um, wide receivers were making catches. Uh, you know, we were just playing all together, which was, was good to see later on. Obviously still some things to, to clean up, but do you like where the offense is going into the meeting schedule? Yes, I do. Um, I'm going to feel very confident in the offense right now. Um, you know, like you said, we've got things to clean up, but um, with these things that you can watch film and, and uh, if you're coachable, you know, you, you can get in practice and, and get ready for the game on Saturday. And I believe that's what, you, what it comes down to is, is being coachable. I think we've got a bunch of, uh, bunch of guys on the offense who want to learn, want to continue to get better throughout the year. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very comfortable with where we are right now. Well, it seemed like you all had a different edge about you come, coming out of halftime. What, what was the mentality of the team coming out of the locker room? Yeah, um, you know, I, I think we just wanted to – make it known that, that we shouldn't be in a seven point game with with uh with, with la tech and and props to them they're a great football team um you know a lot of respect towards them you know i, I think coach Winnie mentioned in the locker room but um every single one of their players wrote wrote brian um a, a letter um and there's a, a special player on their team who had also lost an 11 year old sister um to to a similar situation and and he wrote one as well. Um, so, so, so much props to them, but uh, we've just got so much upside. Um, so, so coming out, we knew that we had just had to handle our drop. We played complimentary ball um, you know, with the defense. They were giving us the ball, you know, in, in our hands, and we were just executing. Well, it looked like on your uh, that long touchdown run, you were pretty explosive and pretty happy with uh, with how that turned out. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I love just being in open space. You know, I can remember telling my mom all the way back in Papa War days, like my favorite thing in the world is just you in the end zone um so anytime you know that gets to happen i got a huge smile on my face running in after <laughs> you guys have seen you know some of the pictures and things like that but i just love getting in the end zone uh, it's, it's one of my favorite things to do and, and whenever i can uh you know break a long one and you know, feel fast uh you know just just kind of get out it makes me even happier so did they tell you that you're the first player at clemson they can figure out in the record to as, as multiple touchdowns in the first three games of the season. Yeah, they, they mentioned it, um, you know, but but all, all glory goes to God. All yeah. glory goes to the guys around me. Wouldn't be possible without the, the guys up front, Phil and Kobe pushing me every single day. Um, Coach Filler getting the most out of me. Um, so just all, all props to those guys. Well, you got to be really proud. You mentioned uh, Phil and Kobe tonight was uh, running back by committee. What do you think the, the whole crew played as far as the entire unit as the night wore on as you led the way? Yeah, I thought it went great. Um, you know, just kind of being able to come out and, and know that you know the standard doesn't drop at all with those two guys is, is great. Um, you know, you throw Dominique and uh, and Keith in there, and they you know handle it at the end really well. Um, so it's just so so great to see this this room flourish because um, I've I've seen the work that we put in, and I've I've been a part of it. I exp I've experienced uh, it. Uh, so you know, to to just see us. Um, Reaping the benefits is nice. How important was it for the ones when they went back in there with a four point game, 14 point game, to march down the field and, and score and kind of this time deliver the knockout? Yeah, it was huge um, to, to be able to go back in there. Uh, I believe only up 14 points at that time. Um, you know, we, we knew we had to had to give it to them and um, you know just be able to run the ball and to be able to give DJ an opportunity to, to make that throw um, and, and get in the end zone was was huge and I think it kind of you know just to put up um, <laughs> just you just kind of ended the game for us which was huge. Well, how about the way y'all protected the ball tonight, the backs and and DJ's only had one interception in three games. Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, the, the football is is the treasure chest. You know, you can't you can't drop it, you can't lose it. So to have zero turnovers, um, with the exception of Barrett Carter, I am going to call him out. <laughs> um, He's not on the offense. Exactly. Though. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's it's great. You know, whenever you can have zero turnovers, it's it's great for the offense. What was it like coming into Death Valley tonight with all the likes? And all that kind of stuff going on. Oh, it's it like a first experience for me all over again. Um, just looking out there, seeing it dark, you know, just filled from, from side to side, all the way up to the brim. Um, it's just, you know, an experience that, that you can't really explain. You just got to be, be in it and, and appreciate it. I mean, that's what I did.